starting the two. Okay. Now, stone move. I want you to come over here. We're rolling you in this big room. Because somebody in the family has died. So we take their body in to this area for the preparation chamber. And then the women anoint this body with spices and oils. Yeah? And then they place the body into the two men. And then everybody leaves. Stone move. Go and guard the door again. I'm a grave robber. And I'm coming to pinch the jewels from the from the body that's just been put in there. And I'm coming up. And I go, oh, oh, you're two tons. You're protecting the two. And you don't even have a lock on your door. You are so heavy, I can't move you. Now, because of this air hole up here, window, and the, and the thing here, the air comes in and the body decomposes. So after one year, we come along, all the strong men, with our levers and so on, and we say, stone, move. And we go into the tomb, we go over to the burial thing, and by this time, the body is bones, dry bones. And we put them into something called a bone box. Or in the uh, correct term for it is osory, and it comes from the Latin for a bone. And these containers up here are like the size of a bone box, all right? They're little mock um, ossuaries, clay ones. And um, we put them in this wooden box, we write the name of the person who died on the box, and bring the box out, stone move. And for the fourth time, this dynamic rolling stone is put back into place and the tomb is now empty, the box goes away to the tomb of the fathers, and on the Mount of Olives we have tens of thousands of tombs of the fathers or family vaults. That is the permanent place of rest, this is just a temporary one. Now what I have described to you does have variations. He'll know all about them and tell you tell you afterwards, well Martin got that a little bit wrong or something like that. <laughs> but that is the general process on how these tombs work. Now we're all going inside, in, in you go, 